Hello everybody, it's Panda Hero here, and welcome back to a new tutorial series on how to make Minecraft animations. Yes, so, um, in this tutorial series, um, I'll be showing you how to make Minecraft animations, like walk cycles and stuff, and, um, uh, I will be using my own rig for this, but I will leave a couple rigs in the description that are good and that are pretty similar to mine. Um, sadly, mine isn't downloadable yet, so... Yeah, um... Now, um... In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make a walk cycle, so... Um... Yeah, without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so here we are, where we last were. Um... So, to get started, let's just go and press this, which is, um, to snap it to the grid. Uh, if we press 5 on our number pad and 1, let's say, uh, yeah, let's say 1, and, uh, you'll see this grid here if we go into post mode on our armature. You can see that it snaps to this grid, which is what this does. So, yeah, just uh, check that, and then what we're going to do now is I'm going to set the starting position of our animation to zero and bring it to the beginning. Then I'm going to go up here and click animation. So this will bring us into this view, which will give us our dope sheet, our f-curve editor, and our um, uh, timeline, yes. So, um... What I'm going to do is I'm going to press 3 on the number pad to get into um, a side view. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to select um, either of these. I'm going to just select this and move that forward 3 pixels on the grid, as you can see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select... Uh, actually, let me turn on x-ray that would make it a little better. Um, I'm gonna uh, select our body bone and our elbow and knee targets and we're just gonna move this forward and down. Um, now this is good. Um, now just a thing to check is if you move it forward one you can see that this leg goes uh, straight which um, you just want it one before, like one before it goes straight. So like, so it's like bent a little. Um, so yeah, that's good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pose the hands. So I'm gonna take our hands and move these forward. Then I'm gonna take uh, this hand, our left hand, and move it forward to about here. Um, I don't really have a preference to say, um, like guess to like the hands. It's more of what you think. But um uh now something to know when you're doing walk cycles, never put the um, the foot that's uh forward, let's say like this is our or the leg that's forward. Uh, um this is our right leg, yes, this is our right leg. Um so, this is our right leg, so you don't want our right hand going forward, you want that going backwards, because, um, this is the leg that most of the weight is on, and you don't really need balance on this leg, and this is the leg that has the least, so you want to put this hand forward to balance out the weight. So, yeah, just simple physics, but, <laughs> just to make it look more lifelike, but, um, now what we're going to do is, um, we're going to press I and go down here and select whole character. Now what that did is that made a keyframe for every single bone we have on our character. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump to 10 and we're going to move this foot forward just like the other one. one two, three. So three pixels. And what we're going to do is we're going to select our knee and elbow targets and our body bone and move it forward and okay move it back and now what we're gonna do is we're going to bring this forward 
and this to about here and keyframe that. So now as you can see we got a little bit of walking but it's more like sliding so that's what, why we're gonna go to frame 5 and we're going to select our body right here, our body bone and bring that up one and the foot that's going forward is okay that's this foot which is our left foot go back into side view and okay control Z uh, now we're gonna do that and bring this up one so now as you can see that's a good walking uh, animation so so far he's only walking one now, something you'll notice compared to other people's walk cycles, sometimes people like to actually take the location of the character and move it, um, the whole character, but that kind of gives you an unreal effect, because the, um, this leg, which, as you can see when we go through the animation, is staying in the same place. This is, you would usually, like, slide around a little, so... It's kind of unlifelike, because usually when we walk, our feet don't slide around. But, um, yeah, so, uh, now what we're going to do is go to frame 20, and do the exact same thing. Bring that foot, and three pixels, and we're going to select that, and that, and that, and bring it forward, and one backwards. So it's it's pretty much a repetitive thing. It's pretty repetitive, but it gives you a good outcome. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do whole character again, and of course go here and move it up one. But as you can see, that moved forward too much. So we're just gonna bring that back one, and we're gonna select this. Is that right? Nope. Not right. That's one thing sometimes you can get mixed up with. You could accidentally do the wrong foot, which sometimes that happens to me, like, pretty much most of the time. So, um, it's always good just to go back and check. So, now just bring up the other foot like that. And, as you can see, we got a good walk cycle going. Um, now, one thing is our upper body isn't moving at all. So that's why we're just gonna go to this keyframe here and we're gonna rotate our body and one and rotate our head one. So then we're gonna do whole character. As you can see and it gives a sort of bombing animation but it's not here. So a way to save time without doing it over and over again is just simply going into our dope sheet and selecting head bone and upper body at least for me that's what I do and uh, shifty and press shifty and duplicate it over here same with that and we got our bobbing animation here and yeah, so that's pretty much all you need to know about doing a simple walk cycle. Um, I mean, you can modify it to make it uh, look the way you want. Um, this is the technique I use. Um, and I'd say it's the most simple one. Um, but yeah, so that's how to make a good Minecraft walk cycle. Um, so if you like this, please like it and comment and, uh, please subscribe. So, um, yeah, this is Panda Girl saying goodbye. Go select.